cold in here. Dude, you know you got a bunk here. Turn it on. We got a bunk heater in this thing? Where have you been? Jeez. I'm not sure how to use it. You don't know how to use it? Well, let me show you, dude. Jeez. Yeah! What's going on YouTube? We're coming at you with an instructional video on how to properly and safely use the bunk heater in a Freightliner Cascadia. It's winter time and it's starting to get cold out and trust me, you're going to want to use this thing properly so you can stay warm while you're sleeping. Now, a few things to consider, okay? One, you uh, need to have good batteries in your truck. If you don't know when last time your batteries were serviced, uh, you could ask your shop uh, mechanic, whoever works on your truck, to uh, you know check your batteries, do a battery test on the batteries to make sure they're up to par. Um, because when the truck is off and the bunk heater is on, it's drawing a lot of amperage from the batteries to keep that heater pumping hot air. All right. Um, most of the time, when you have a good battery and every, uh, good batteries and everything is fine the bunk heater should be able to crank out high power heat uh, for at least six to seven hours straight um, but if you set the thermostat and you close these curtains right here behind the driver's seat I'm not talking about the curtains uh, up on the uh, windshield I'm talking about the curtains on your sleeper and you have that heater on it, it doesn't take long to heat that little bit of space your bunk the top bunk area and right here it's it's very efficient all right all right ladies and gentlemen we are in the bunk area where the control panel is for the bunk heater inside the Cascadia here all right it's a very simple unit what you're gonna do is you're gonna power this thing on okay right now it says heater stopped we're gonna press it again and it says heater enabled and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set it to the temperature you want I'm going to set it to 80 real quick I don't know if you can see that let's see if we can focus it right now it's set to 80 and it's enabled okay and there's a little clock there to the left but I haven't figured out how to set the clock yet um, but right now the heater's enabled and it's set to 80 degrees I think we're going to have to turn it up because it's a little hot in here right now let's turn it up a little bit I think it goes up to, I don't know what it goes all the way up to, let's see. It stops at 93. That's where it stops at, okay? Now, I'm going to show you where the heat comes out. Alright, now we're over here on the floor in our sleeper. And I want to show you this, this spot right here real quick. This spot right here, this metal shroud covers the fan motor, the housing, and the, the lines for the bunk heater itself. You want to make sure you don't have any clothing, paper, or anything flammable on top of this shroud while operating the bunk heater because it's going to get real hot. And the last thing you want to do is wake up and, uh, you know, have a fire in your truck, okay? So make sure you keep this entire metal, sh metal shroud uh, uncovered and uh, debris free, if you will. Now, also, I know you can hear it. The fan's kicking and it's pumping out a lot of heat right now, okay? Um, the vent that I have in this truck is right here. And I'm pretty sure it's the same for uh, most Cascadias with uh, the bunk heaters that they have installed. All right, down here, underneath your bunk, is where the heat comes out, okay? And, it, and if it's set on high, at its highest temperature, it's gonna blow out 
really hot and really fast. And the cool thing about this is you can change the direction to blow this way, to blow that way, however you turn this thing. But make sure you try to turn it, get it set before you turn it on because this thing is going to get real hot. Also, make sure you don't have any shoes or, or, any, or any books or paper or clothing laying right here in front of the vent because you will catch fire. All right, so to turn this thing off properly, all you gotta do is come over here, press the button once, it'll turn the screen on. It, it still says heater enabled, but press it again. It's gonna say heater stopped. And then you'll hear the fan start to wind down slowly. Not sure if you can hear that, but it takes a few seconds for the fan to wind down and completely shut off. Also, too, when you shut the tr uh, when you start the truck engine, the fan, the heater, the bunk heater will automatically uh, shut off as well. So now, a couple of other things to consider: if you haven't used your bunk heater in a couple of months, you know, because it's been summertime, it's been hot, obviously. First time you fire this thing up, it's gonna smell a little funny. It's gonna smell like burnt paper or something. Basically, that's just all the dust on the elements and stuff in there uh, burning off. You know, it's been sitting on there for a few months. Nothing to worry about. But if it doesn't go away after, you know, a few minutes, uh, then you might want to check and see if you got an issue down there. Um, something in the way, maybe. Something that you, you forgot. Make sure you check. And like I said, don't keep anything in front of that vent because it's going to get real hot. And when you get up in the morning and that thing is still going, make sure you don't put your feet or your leg in front of it because it's going to be hot. A um, couple of other things. If you're uh, running the bunk heater all night, eventually, and if you're, it's longer, longer than like six hours. I've never been able to go longer than six hours with this thing. Because uh, what happens is, is when the batteries drop down below a certain voltage, each truck is a little different. Um, I think this truck is set for 11.9 uh, volts. Uh, the circuit breakers will completely shut off the truck. Uh, it starts from the sleeper and then goes forward. So like all the cigarette lighters and everything will shut off in order to protect the battery from going completely dead. Um, also if it's below like 20 degrees, you know, uh, this bunk heater shouldn't be a problem keeping up with that temperature. But anything like below 15, 20 degrees, depending on the windshield, you might need to keep the truck idling uh, to keep it warm, um, uh, completely warm, depending on how warm you like it inside your truck. Also, if it's below 20 degrees outside, I would keep your truck idling anyway, uh, just to keep the engine and the oil and all the fluids warm. Uh, that way you don't have any issues in the morning trying to start the truck up. So that's it guys, be safe out there on the road this winter and stay warm.